Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Last time, we had a critical decision to make to help out Viola. Well, you know, sitting on our asses worked so well for us the last couple times, but uh, I don't know, I, I still prefer taking the initiative. Uh, then again, I do have patience problems, but uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's send some soldiers to help her out. Why not? I mean... That's what we're here for, right? We are the the reinforcements for her, right? Well, it's not like we're under attack right here. You know, if we take the initiative, take them out way out there, we'll be fine here. Right? Sure, why not? Let the sergeant make all the decisions. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Nuts. Ominous music. Not exactly danger music, though. No, it's not danger music worthy. I like how all these decisions are like, you did so well with your decision, but you're screwed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes in Radiant Historia. Nuts. You might say Rosh was disarmed. No? No? Nuts. By the way, you hear that sort of game over music? Listen to the whole song. It is beautiful. Do they ever play it outside of the bad endings? I forget. I mean, I've played this game four times and I, I don't recall. But. Well, apparently so. Yeah, that game over music is awesome. Or whatever it is. Well, I'll, I'll do the best I can. What do you mean you're on my side? I thought you said you weren't allowed. Nice. Well, we'll do the best we can. But anyway. Okay, so uh, let's try and get back there and uh, try again. Maybe exercise some patience. I'm always so impatient when it comes to these decisions. Now, by the way, uh, you see all these descriptions for the, the White Chronicle events here? I've heard that there's, like, quite a few typos in there. Like, the regular script, you just play the game normally. I don't. I think I hardly recognize any typos, but I guess they did the White Chronicle part, and they just, when they were testing it, they didn't really look back at it. I don't know, I haven't, I've seen a few, but not, like, anything obscene, like Final Fantasy Tactics or anything like that. I mean, overall, I think they did a good job, so. Okay, let's show some patience and, uh, show some faith. Just leave her out there to die. Yeah. Why not? So we're just gonna leave her alone and let her die? Okay. Stay the course, because it's worked so out so well for us in the past. Well, it has. It has. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to say anything this time, Stack. If they make it here, well, we'll be ready for them. They'll be farther from their supply lines. And then we won't get cut off. I love how they make use of the 3D camera rotation for this. I just wish we could do that. Oh well. It is a Nintendo DS game, so. Who was with that guy? What do you mean he's a renegade soldier? He could have just been picking his nose and you caught him. Or something, or... Maybe he was... No, no, I'll, I'll stop there. I'll bite my tongue. Well, considering there's only one way in or out, that doesn't seem like that would be very hard. Yeah, we're going to send all the important people outside. Nuts. Hmm. I wonder. Well, since they never say... No, no, you know, I'll wait on that. Remember that for later, please. What's that sound? What's going on? Nuts. 300? We've only got 20 soldiers! Whatever shall we do? Yeah, what was that? Nuts. That must be what that 
soldier was. He must have been a spy. We'll try to hold the north end, even though we're on the south end. Now we put all our eggs in one basket. Look where it got us. Crap. Use your robot arm, Rosh. Yeah, well, no one's doing too good. If only there were a way we could have stopped that from happening. Maybe we can go back and stop those explosives. Well, yeah, obviously. If only. Invisible? A weapon that is invisible? You're a raving lunatic! <laughs> I just find it amusing that Stocks can say pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. We did know some Satyros. Hmm. Maybe we should do that. Well, there's nothing else we can do on this timeline here, so... Yeah, maybe we should head on over there then. But if you've resolved this roadblock, I'll eventually put an annotation link in here to lead you to that. But, well, I haven't yet. So. Crap. Where did Rash go? Oh, he's in our party, right? Well, yep. Oh, oh, oh. okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm time traveling. See ya! Yeah. Yeah, we might want to get out of it. Nothing else we can do in that timeline, I'm afraid. So let's just hop on back over there, because now we have the sword dancing skill, so we can put that to use. First things first, let's put Ot in our party to replace Rainy there, because she's behind on levels. And let's give her the horn charms, because she's pretty much a mage type character for now. Or we're just going to give her the horn charms for now. But well, there we go. Now that we have sword dancing, we can get through to this hidden treasure. Well, it's not really hidden, but uh, now the hidden treasure is later. Perhaps. But, alright. And I don't need to fight these guys anymore. I'll talk more about Ott. Well, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Let's just skip past here and abandon the idea. Forcing our way through didn't work too well last time. Oh, yeah. You see, now we can get past this roadblock. Stand over here, or just stay where you are. Thank you for standing there while I killed you. Uh, did it... Oh, it worked! Oh, move along! Yay, happy music! I love the music here. I love all the music in this game. Pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Hurry up, damn you! <laughs> uh, I just love odds jumping. I didn't know you had such hidden talents with your sword. You want me to show you what other talents I have with my other sword? <laughs> uh, I've known you for like five minutes, Ah. Uh. Getting a little excited there. Oh, well there we go. Sure, why not? It's not like you have an ulterior motive or anything like that. Might be nice to get some fresh air. Sure. Alright, well, let's put Ott to use there, and heal up, why not? Now, the thing with Ott is that she functions a bit differently in combat than other characters. Sleep, damn you! There we go. So, let's put her to use. Whoa, six enemies? Holy cow. Okay, first things first, I want to use Polaris on everyone. What it does is it gives you status resistance, which basically, since these guys can poison you, that's what we want to do. So, let's see. I'm just trying to think of how I want to use Ott's ability there. If I do that first... Um... No... Well... 
No, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, what I want to do is use push assault. Then I want to use switch with Ott there. I want to use uh, one of her traps. The way it works is she lays a trap on an empty tile and then you push an enemy onto it and it deals massive damage. So that works pretty nice. What are you doing, Marco? Why didn't you target the other one? Huh. I guess because I killed that guy, somehow they didn't consider it a combo or something. Okay, that wasn't a good example of yours. I'll try again. But anyway, the trap is still there. But basically, it's kind of like how they used that healing tile or the formation or whatever they were doing in previous battles. So, let's try that one again. So, push, left, grapple, that ought to do. There we go. Wow! Look at that damage. Yeah, you see how well that worked on these guys? Uh, that's the advantage of traps. They deal massive damage. But on the flip side, they are rather inconvenient to use. And they suck up a lot of MP. I can only kill two enemies at a time. Now, here's what we do. Push, trap, then pull them onto it. There we go. That's how you use traps. So, yeah, it is rather inconvenient to use Ott right now, but I want to use her to really boost her levels because we don't have access to her on the other timeline, and so that way she can learn other tra elemental traps and abilities and such. Well, there's Cornet Village, but we can't go there right now. Remember there was a side quest the guy had for us? Well, anyway, let's uh, heal up. Area heal. Heals everyone for the about the same amount as a normal heal spell. So it's more efficient to use that if everyone needs it. So yeah, I mean, if you don't want to use Ott, she's probably not the best party member to use right now. But I figure, you know, I, I want to get her the levels. So. Okay, so let's equip that on Marco. We got the Bishop Stud. It's the next upgrade from the Knight Stud. That's why I didn't buy three of them earlier. So there we go. Lots of goblins around here, so Ott's pretty useful. She's got a lot of speed, so no matter what you do, She's pretty much almost always going to go first in a preemptive strike. Kind of annoying, actually, but, uh, well, whatever. Eventually, that won't be such a problem. Unfortunately, she just doesn't uh, learn any assaults for a very long time, so. But she is really powerful, so there's a balance between the two of them. See, and over here we can get another treasure. Okay, I think we got all of them. Let's head on over to the camping site then. You could save if you really want. Oh, you know what? There's a treasure back there. Well, I'll pick it up on the way back. Sorry, forgot about that. <laughs> Well, it's not like we got concrete to skin your knees on! N not that I'm uh, speaking from personal experience or anything like that. Yeah, it's part of the Bailey curse. Sorry, viewers. I knew you had an ulterior motive! Uh, if you want to call it a scavenger hunt, sure, why not? So we need to get five pieces of firewood. Okay, why not? It's better than finding bombs. Invisible bombs at that. Do they ever have invisible bombs in Bomberman? Not to my knowledge. I always liked the remote control detonator in the original Bomberman. That was awesome. Just wait for your enemies to run right into it and when they least expect it, BOOM! Well, do the best I can. Aw, so spunky! Yeah, and she's really fast, too. Not that speed really matters that much, so... Oh, well. I don't worry about it. Neither should you, viewers. But if you go over here, you can find another treasure! Alright. We could use some of those if I'm not using Polaris all the time. But... Well, first things first. Oh, wow. I almost forgot to heal out there. Whew! So how do we find some firewood? I mean, there's trees all over. 
We don't have an axe. I don't think they have any axes in this game. Okay, sure. Why not? What are you doing? Cute little girl with secret mysterious powers. Absolutely. Hey, hey, all right. Ah, okay. That must have been the ability that uh, Lifty and Tail were telling us about. So yeah, now we can find hidden treasure. There's lots of stuff that we can find in previous areas that we couldn't find before. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to go back to the other timeline. But you could if you want. You can resolve the roadblock now. You can find the invisible bombs with the monocyte ability. So, But like I said, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll put an annotation link there eventually. I'll try to remember. Oh, so that's how that works. But I'm not a Satyros. Why do I? Why am I the only one who has that ability? Ah, oh, okay. I could tell by the size of his um, ego. So we have to find branches, withered branches, in white light. Well, there we go. But what else can we see with the monocyte? Can we find all the tree branches with it? Will it let me see through Rainy's dress? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!